Good Monday morning. Thanks for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm 9 News Weather Impact Team Meteorologist Keely Chalmers with a look at your forecast for today and for this week. We have got uh, well, a week of sunshine, clearing skies as we head into the afternoon. Certainly got some snow up in the high country. Some pretty impressive uh, snow totals up there at the higher elevations above about 9,000 feet. So uh, again, things changing after about noon today, clearing skies. We'll see a lot more sunshine and then we'll get back in that warmer than normal weather pattern uh, that we're used to or that we've had actually recently over the last uh, Oh, I don't know, several weeks. Well, here, this camera is not working. Wanted to show you Eisenhower Johnson tunnels. Not going to be able to show you that as those uh, those cameras apparently maybe they froze. Got too much snow. Actually, got a decent amount of snow up there at the pass uh, this morning. Taking a live look out over Denver, you can notice that camera is shaking. That's because it is windy out there. Those winds increasing to about 40 miles per hour uh, as we head into the afternoon. We're going to continue to see windy conditions today starting to settle down over. Overnight. Here's a live look at Grand Lake where the shot earlier this morning was snowy. Now that snow melting. You can see a little bit of snow there on the sidewalks and on the pavement. Certainly you can see some of the snow on the hillside there, but uh, starting to melt a little bit. We got a decent amount of snow this morning starting after about three o'clock this morning, starting right around three o'clock. Just tapering off uh, Loveland ski area, 10 inches, 9 inches of snow this morning at Copper Mountain, a basin, 8 inches, 7 and a half in Breckenridge, 7 inches at Winter Park. Weather headlines clearing skies, mainly dry this evening. Those uh, showers moving out, some thunderstorms, a little bit of hail actually this morning as well at the lower elevations, snow up in high country. But again, all that clearing out afternoon. Those winds are going to pick up in between two systems. One area of low pressure moves out, another area of high pressure moves in. And anytime you get that imbalance, that's when uh, those pressure gradients get a little tighter and those winds pick up. So expect a windy afternoon. Those winds gusting up to about 40 miles per hour. And then as I mentioned, warm and dry for the rest of the week. Current temperatures wow, quite mild out there. 55 in Denver at 61 in Colorado Springs, 64 in Greeley, 61 also in Fort Collins. We're looking at uh, 30s, 40s up in the high country. Take a look at our satellite radar. You can see the swirling motion of that storm that is surrounding a low pressure system that is moving to the east ever so gradually as we head throughout the day. And as it as it moves off to the east, it will take that precipitation with them. But you can see the moisture it's bringing up, smiling around that area of low pressure and the downsloping winds as a result. That's going to help dry things out and clear things out as we head into the afternoon. Here's another live look at our radar. Still getting a little bit of snow up in the high country and a little bit of moisture in and around the metro area, the foothills uh, just west of Denver and uh, north along the I-25 corridor. As we head into the uh, 12, 30, 1 o'clock hour, we start to see those uh, showers really dissipate. And as we head into the evening hours, we are clearing out and uh, the, not only just the precipitation, but the clouds clearing out as well. Do have a winter weather advisory. Uh, again, this is really about to wrap up. It ends at about noon. So we've already seen those accumulations as we just pointed out. So as we head into the afternoon, the big story for the weather department will be the winds. Those are going to be picking up. So while the precipitation clears out, the clouds clear out, those winds really do start to pick up. Out of the west, gusting 30 plus miles per hour in the foothills, still going to get 31 mile per hour plus a uh, winds in Arvada and Boulder as well. 20 plus mile per hour winds here in the metro area. And again, things start to settle down overnight into tomorrow morning. Forecast highs, we're going to top out right around 69 degrees here in the Denver area. Mainly 60s, low 70s across the eastern plains, uh, 40s, 50s in the mountains. So again, clearing skies, those winds gusting up to 25, possibly 30 miles per hour in and around the metro area, mostly clear tonight. Those winds die down. 44 degrees, your overnight low. Jet streams forecast again, we talked about that area of low pressure, that storm system pushing off to the east. High pressure then moves on in as we head through uh, basically tomorrow through uh, Thursday. And that is going to bring us those uh, warm conditions, the sunny skies, and the above average temperatures. We're going to be back in the 70s. So back in the 70s tomorrow, sunny and mild, lighter winds going to be quite pleasant. We're looking at a very warm day once again tomorrow with temperatures uh, nearing 80 degrees across the southeast corner of the state. 
50s up in the mountains. And your very warm seven day forecast continues with sunshine. Just a few clouds. We do have a frontal system moving in Thursday night into Friday. That's going to drop those temperatures down a bit. Models still a little not in agreement on that. But uh, it looks like at this point that that cold front will be strong enough to drop those temperatures down into the mid 60s so closer to our seasonal average or normal high for this time of the year 63 so not quite there but at least down in the mid 60s and then we warm up and we dry out as we head into the weekend as well we're going to remain dry throughout the week again the, pre the precipitation this morning drying out clearing out with those down sloping winds we are looking to stay dry at least at the lower elevations through the week may see some uh, showers and snow up in the high country at times but again may mainly dry as that ridge of high pressure settles in and keeps us sunny all the way through the weekend. We're talking about temperatures in the low 70s both Saturday and Sunday. That is a quick look at your weather on this Monday. Thanks so much for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm 9 News Weather Impact Team Meteorologist Keely Chalmers. Have a great day.